Good evening and thank you for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Renee Summerauer. UNLV students held a press conference to share firsthand accounts and urge leaders to take action to prevent gun violence. Review Journal's James Schaefer has more. Our message is enough is enough and Rise Nevada will be leading the charge with so many community partners on ensuring that this doesn't happen again. Chris Solomon of Rise Nevada, a student-led group that has pushed for political involvement from UNLV's campus, spoke to media Thursday night in a press conference outside Tiabi Coffee and Waffle on Maryland Parkway, discussing the tense scene as their organization barricaded at the student union during the recent shooting on UNLV's campus. Students have suffered too long. We have seen a news story on a school shooting, praying that it won't happen to us, living uh, the fear of hearing shots and then going back to normal, hearing about it again or worse. And last Wednesday was our worst. UNLV students saying they are urging local elected officials for legislation and action curbing shootings like this. For the Las Thank Vegas View Journal, I'm James Schieffer. Now to more top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. A Las Vegas judge is expected to set bail soon for three teens charged with murder and the fatal beating of a Rancho High student. Attorneys for the teens spent nearly 45 minutes arguing for release conditions for their clients, while prosecutors asked for a $250,000 bail and an electronic monitoring device. Justice of the Peace Nadia Wood said she intended to issue a written order with her ruling. The teens are facing charges of second-degree murder and conspiracy to commit battery, resulting in substantial bodily harm. Police are investigating a homicide in the West Las Vegas Valley. The man's body was found Wednesday night on the 8300 block of Mulcahy Avenue near South Durango and Westcliff Drives, according to Metro. No additional information was immediately available. And the city of Henderson has agreed to pay the Las Vegas Review-Journal $20,000 in legal fees after a judge ruled the newspaper does not have to take down or alter its video of Henderson corrections officers apparently failing to respond properly to events at the city's jail. The video was published online as part of the newspaper's investigation into excessive overtime and mistakes at the jail. Henderson officials did not return a request for comment. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Partly cloudy skies and light to variable winds are in your forecast for this evening. Lows around 41 degrees. For the rest of the week, we will see a slight increase in temperatures to the mid-60s by Friday before heading into the weekend. We'll stay in the mid-60s with sunny to partly cloudy skies. Evening lows will stay in the low 40s, increasing heading into the work week. In business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, Paymons has closed its restaurant on Southeastern Avenue. The company closed the Fresh Express on November 19th, and Paymons Fresh Kitchen and Lounge, a sit-down version of the restaurant, closed on November 26th. Increasing in rent, staffing challenges, and a 15% raise in food costs in the last year contributed to the decision. The Paymons on West Sahara Avenue remains open. A pair of Caesars Entertainment properties handed out six-figure jackpots within hours of each other Tuesday. John Chesena of Atlanta won $100,000 on video poker around 2.30 p.m. at Horseshoe, Las Vegas. About six hours later at Planet Hollywood Resort, Kevin McCarthy, playing Mississippi stud poker for the first time, hit a mega progressive jackpot for just over $350,000. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. UNLV's basketball team picked up its biggest victory of the Kevin Kruger era Wednesday, beating number eight ranked Creighton 79-64 in the Jack Jones Classic at the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson. Keelan Boone made his run in Rebels debut, scoring 10 points, grabbing six rebounds, and he had a block and a steal in the game. UNLV held the Blue Jays to 28% shooting and forced 11 turnovers. In health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. If you find yourself being stretched thin, taking care of an elderly loved one while juggling work and other things, help is available. Experts say the first step is to determine the kind of help you need. Many communities offer a range of free or subsidized services for seniors and caregivers, including respite services, which offer short-term care so you can take an occasional break. Referrals are available by calling 1-800-677-1116. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The 49ers continue to separate themselves from the rest of the pack in the NFL as the clear plus 160 favorites at the Westgate Super Bowl to win the Super Bowl. 
The Ravens are the 6-1 choice to win the NFL title game that takes place February 11th at Allegiant Stadium. The Chiefs and Cowboys are tied for the 8-1 third pick, followed by the Dolphins and Eagles at 10-1. The Bills are 16-1, the Lions are 25-1, and the Jaguars are 30-1. The Browns are 40-1. Every other team is 80-1 or higher. Now to Lifestyle News, sponsored by Silverton Casino Lodge. This is Lodge Vegas. The Cowboys and Cowgirls competing in the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo take time out of their busy schedules for a worthy cause. This year, after a hiatus in 2022, they saddled up and returned to the Grant A. Gift Autism Foundation to help brighten the day for a handful of children who rely on Grant A. Gift's services. It's part of the 2023 Wrangler NFR's continued community outreach, and all the kids, cowboys, and horses were ready for it. In entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Review Journal's John Katzlamides brings us the latest entertainment news. Wednesday night was iconic even by Vegas standards. First, we had Mark Wahlberg, world premiere of The Family Plan at the Chelsea at the Cosmopolitan. He wants to do every one of his premieres in Las Vegas because he's a Las Vegas resident. And we talked to Paul Anka, who happened to open for Judson Timberlake on opening night of Mountain Blues Blue Live Theater. It was crazy, folks, and we're going to expect more of the same in 2024. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.